All right, Shalom, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, all praises, glory, and honor going to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Double honors on to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule exceptionally well. And also, Shalom, citations, mercy, and blessings to all you sincere brothers out there that push this word with truth and with faith. Uh, my name is Tabo Aamath of Great Millstone Northwest. Um, back with another lesson. All right, uh, I'm actually going to be using the phone uh, to show... The scriptures that I'm reading. All right, so let me go ahead uh, and flip to that app. And um, uh, basically, uh, I, I had this thought while I was laying in bed, and the thought was that, um, you know, pretty much with the world the way it is, it's kind of like we are set in a game show. All right, now the game show is placing us in the the worst conditions possible all right edomites ruling the world uh polluting everything heavily um you know a, a lot of homosexual a lot of wickedness just ultimate wickedness running rampant upon the earth and the the game show is to see how many of the contestants can actually um how many of the uh, contestants being placed into this filth can get clean by turning to the Lord, you know, all right, um, there's a scripture that I want to start off with that's actually in Deuteronomy, the eighth chapter, all right, um, it says, actually, I'm gonna start at verse one, uh, Deuteronomy chapter eight, verse one, all the commandments which I command thee this day shall ye observe to do, that ye may live and multiply and go and possess the land which the Lord sware unto your fathers. And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy power lead thee these forty years in the wilderness to humble thee and to prove thee and to know what was in thine heart, whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or no. Okay, so basically what's being pulled right here in the scripture is that there was a trial there was tribulation in the uh, in the wilderness, the forty years, and it was the the purpose of it was to humble the nation of Israel, to prove who was worthy in the nation of Israel, and to know what was in the heart, in the minds of the uh, nation of Israel, whether they would keep the commandments which He gave or not. So it's the same type of situation we're going through right now. We're we're once again in a captivity, hoping to be delivered uh, by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. Um, and we want to be able to receive our land that was promised on to us, the land that's that's rightfully ours. We want to uh, we once again want to be delivered so that we can go and possess that land once more. All right. And be free from the oppression that's being placed upon us by our enemies uh, Our number one enemy being the so-called white man, which is known as the Edomite in the Bible. All right. He is the number one enemy of the nation of Israel, which is the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. OK, um, now it says that he, he put us through the 40. He led us through the 40 years of wilderness to humble us and to prove us and to know what was in our heart, whether we would keep us the commandments or no. So, again, we're going through a situation where the commandments are given on to us. All right. All these commandments which I command thee this day. This is uh, verse one. Uh, ye shall observe to do right. So all the commandments is given unto us. Brothers have found this truth. All right, the water to the Yahweh Hashem Shai all through the Spirit and glory of uh, the Most High Power Yahweh through His Son Yahweh Shai. All right, uh, we have our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone that set up, and what they do is they constantly and continually uh, feed the flock and and teach brothers about these scriptures and about the correct path and about the, the way towards light. All right. Rather than majority of the rest of the world, which is uh, teaching nothing but a whole bunch of lies and furthering uh, the wickedness that's got a, a strong handhold or a hand grip on the nation of Israel uh, itself. OK, so it says that uh, he put us through this so he could prove us and to find out what was in our hearts and whether we would keep the commandments or no. And through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, brothers have found uh, this truth and are to the very best of their ability keeping the commandments, but mainly they're maintaining their, their faith. 
All right. Because that's really what's important is do you believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai? And of course, if you do believe that the Most High is up here or up there and that he's um, uh, uh, he's going to judge this earth soon, then you would be attempting to be on his good side by keeping the to the very best of your ability, of course, keeping the law, statutes and commandments, which was commanded onto uh, the nation of Israel to do. Now, if you're not a so-called Negro, Latino or a Native American through your father's lineage, then you you are free to do whatever you want. All right. You are you are not held or bound by anything uh, that's being spoken about right here. OK, but if you if your father's line does go back to a so-called Negro, or Latino or Native American, then um, then you should be taking heed to the commandments of the Heavenly Father. All right. And you need to be uh, uh, moved through faith. Through faith in Yahweh Shai, all right, uh, uh, with the power of his father Yahweh, okay. Um, let's see. Let me get the scripture. Let me get uh, what do I want? I'm gonna get uh, Matthew the fourth chapter. Now this was when uh, Satan was trying to tempt Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, all right. Um. This is Matthew chapter 4, I'm going to start at verse 3. It says, And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of the Most High, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said that he in this uh, verse is speaking of Yahweh Shai. Uh, but Yahweh Shai answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Most High. All right? Now, every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Most High is, is in these uh, scriptures, man. Okay? The scriptures is what guides us towards um, being able to win this so-called game show. All right. Following the the rules and the regulations. Nobody can win the game show if they don't follow the rules or follow the reg regulations. You know, they're not going to uh, win that big prize that's at the end. The whole reason they're going uh, through the game show is so that they can win a big prize at the end. All right. And everybody watches those game shows, man. So this is the same situation where we're in a we're in a, a, a like basically in a game show. We're competing, all right, to uh, uh, make our calling of election sure. And our audience is the angels, the eyes of the heavenly Father, which are upon this kingdom, uh, this uh, uh, sinful kingdom, and also uh, Yahweh Shai and the heavenly Father uh, themselves, man. And just like when you watch a game show. Uh, like a competitive game show, you'll you'll root for one team. You'll be like, yeah, I like that team, all right. And you'll root for that team, wanting them to win the game show. And likewise, uh, the elect is is being rooted for, okay, for this game show. And they are uh, indeed the ones that are going to be able to pass and move through and receive the the reward of the game show, okay. Um, let me get James. Uh, James, the first chapter, Salakia, bear with me real quick. James chapter one. James chapter one. Oh, this phone. All right. Um, this is James chapter one. I'm going to start at verse two, actually. It says, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. All right. Now, these temptations is the trials. That's the hardships that have to come about. All right, because you see, when Yahweh Shah was tempted, what did he say? Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Most High. Meaning that it's not always going to be about the carnal needs. It's not always going to be about your carnal desires. All right, it's not all. It's never about this flesh, and it's always about the the glorification. All right, and the praising, and the worship, and the faith. In Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And you must say it as Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, all right? Because uh, if you are not mentioning Yahweh Shai, then you're doing everything wrong, man. If you're not, first of all, if you're not using the name of Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai, then, then, then you're wasting your time, all right? Uh, then that's flat out, you know? This video isn't going to be, I'm not going to segue into explaining why that's important. If you're not aware of why that's important, then you're you're already severely lost. All right, that's a video for another time. Um, but the names of Yahweh and the names of Yahweh Shai is is uh, uh, with faith behind it is really the golden ticket that that uh, helps leap you through to the semifinals, man. All right, it says, my brother, my brethren, count it all joy 
when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience, all right? So your faith is going to get tried, man, all right? That's the whole, the whole thing of this game show is to try your faith, to see if you are going to follow the rules or if you're not going to follow the rules, all right? Because they make it seem as if not following the rules is a more glamorous and glorious and fun way to uh, uh, compete in this game show when it's the incorrect way, all right? It says, um, but let patience have her perfect work that ye may be perfect and entire wanting nothing, meaning that you follow after these law statutes and commandments with faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai to the very best of your ability. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the most high power Yahweh that give it to all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. Okay? And it says, verse 6, But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. Meaning that your faith got to be uh, solidified, man. Alright? Your faith has to have that foundation of Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai even said it himself, that he is the door. And no man can enter in unless they go through the door, unless they're a thief or a robber. Alright? Which the reward of a thief and a robber is not going to be to the glorification of the reward of those that actually follow the rules all right those that actually serve Yahweh Shai in faith okay and basically the thief and the robber will get will get destroyed man okay it says um for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed all right because that wave when that wind catches that water and that wave gets formed, that wave can't stop itself. You know, it's just going to go however it, however it flows. That's how it's going to go. All right. So um, it says, uh, uh, for let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. If you're not built up in your faith, if you're not standing with your faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai as uh, your frontline defense. Okay. If you're not standing with that, then... Um, uh, you know, with that shield of faith, if you're not standing with that, then, you know, uh, whatever's going to come up against you, just like that wave, uh, that wind against the wave, it's going to rock you, man. When stuff start going down, guys start falling out and start talking stuff, you know, uh, uh, you, you might, you might falter and take heed to the guys that's talking stuff rather than sticking with what you knew to be true, which was the words uh, driven by the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shai into the apostles and the elders and their teachings and uh, their way of doing things, man. Okay. Um, let me see. Oh, uh, King David read, read about it in Psalms. Let's uh, let's jump to Psalms chapter one thirty nine. Let me see. Psalms chapter one thirty nine, uh, verse twenty three and verse twenty four, which says. Search me, O Yahweh, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. All right. And guess what? The Most High does search. He searches the inward man. All right. So he does search everyone's uh, heart and he tries their thoughts. Now, there's some guys that's out there that's acting as if the Most High doesn't do that. All right. As if Yahweh Shai and as if the angels, the heavenly host, is not aware about what's going on inside their mind. Okay. Or uh, not knowing how uh, how their thoughts really are, and they play they play the role as if they're really a brother, but inwardly they're they are snakes. And I I ensure you that all of those men will be found out, and they will be dealt with by Yahweh Hashem All right, I can guarantee it. It says, and see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way of the in the way of everlasting. And that's that's what we desire. All right. Is that if they're, uh, you know, uh, we're asking the Most High to search us because we have turned to his ways. Search us and see if there be any wicked way in us. And you know what? A true brother, if there is wickedness within him, he will want that to be exposed, especially if it's not something he's acknowledging as wicked. He would he would love for the brotherhood that's around him to expose that to him so that way he can correct it. So that way, when Yahweh Shai comes, he can be found spotless because that's what it's all about. You got guys that's getting upset. When they get corrected, man, all right, they're getting upset when brothers is telling them, hey, this thing that you're doing here, that's that's off. That's not right. According to the scriptures, that's not the way uh, you should be conducting yourself. And you got guys that catches uh, they catch attitudes about that, man, rather than uh, feeling remorseful and, and making corrections. They catch attitudes or they act as if it doesn't exist. You know, they don't take heed to those words. And I assure you that the most high he's going to deal with everybody individually, man. 
You know, I all we can do, all we can do, the people that surround everybody, is is pray for one another, man. That's the only thing we can do is pray for one another, provide one another with proper guidance, and um, uh, give one another proper uh counsel. That's the only thing we can do, man. All right. That's 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 all the support that we have the ability to do. The rest of it is up to you. How about y'all shy? Okay. And so it says, um, it says, and see if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way of in the way everlasting. And we want to be led in the way everlasting. We want to actually win this game show. We want that grand prize. Okay. That a, a reward ceremony spoken about in second Ezra. All right. Uh, was it second? It might be second Ezra. It might be first Ezra. Uh, but where Yahweh Shai is crowning and giving palms to the elect. All right, the ones that stood stiffly for the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Hey, man, I want to take part of that, man. I want to take part of that. I want my own individual crown. I want land to rule over. I want women, uh, women galore. All right, I want children unnumerable. I want spiritual power. You know. I, man, I want spiritual power, man. You know, I want, I, 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 my heart's desires is all set up in a place that is uh, not physically here on the planet Earth, but that will be here on the planet Earth uh, real soon, man. Okay, all my desires is wrapped up in a in a in a in a place that is full of righteousness, and it's not in this place that we are currently in, which is full of um, uh, deceit and and wickedness. Okay. Um, so yeah, hey, it speaks about, uh, leading in the way of the everlasting, which that way, of course, is Yahweh Shai, all right? That way, of course, is Yahweh Shai. Um, let's get real fast, let's get First John, uh, the first chapter. Oh, man, this phone. First John chapter one, uh, we'll start right there at the top. It says, that which was from the beginning which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life. For the life was manifest, and we have seen it, and bear witness, and showed unto you that eternal life, which was with the Father, and was manifest to us. That which we have seen and heard, declare we unto you. All right, which is Yahweh Shai. That ye, that ye also may have fellowship with us, and truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with His Son, Yahweh Shai Hamashayak, man. Okay? So, uh, we we profess the names of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and, and we uh, stand behind that, man, with full faith. Okay? It says, that which we have seen and heard. Oh, Salaki, I read that one. Verse 4, it says, and these things write we unto you, that your joy may be full. Okay? So the reason brothers are constantly putting up videos is so that um, the elect, when they come across those videos, their joy can be full. All right. It says, uh, uh, this then is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that the most high power is light and in him is no darkness. If we say we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. All right, so those guys I was speaking about, the ones that don't want to get corrected, they say they walk with the Most High, uh, yet they don't want to get corrected, or even those those secret those secret agents that's playing the role of a brother, but really inwardly they they they're just as their father, the devil Esau. All right, it says um, it says uh, uh, that they walk in darkness. All right, and that they lie. Because they say they walk with the Most High, but really they walk in darkness, all right? And it says they do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, as He is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, His Son, cleanses us from all sins. And Lord willing, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Mahar, that is um, the case, okay? It says... Um, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. Because we, we are aware that we have sins, man. All right, We are aware that we have sinned before. We are aware that we still sin, even to this very day. It says, if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, 
we make him a liar and his word is not in us. And there's guys out there that are that are liars and trying to make Yahweh Shai a liar as well. All right. And if you read first James, the fifth chapter, that's a good chapter as well. Um, let me see. First James chapter five. It's not very long. Um, I'm not going to read it, though. But this is a good chapter to uh, check to see if you're, you're on point or not, man. All right. And and to 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 place you back in the good graces, all right, all right. But anyway, the way you beat the game show, which has a lot of people, there's a lot of watchers watching us, all right. Being the angels, all right. Uh, the judge of the game show, uh, Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai, all right. The two judges are up there, all right. And when Judgment Day comes, everybody's gonna find out how they did when they was competing in the game show, man. All right, the one that we call life which is uh, ultimately um, setting us up for the kingdom of heaven, okay? So, Lord willing, the message was received, and Lord willing, uh, this was edifying. Uh, once again, I would like to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. Uh, double honors onto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule exceptionally well. Babakasha, 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 stay out there uh, doing your thing because it is a great faith booster and... Um, uh, morale raiser for us younger brothers that's out here in Great Millstone. We really do appreciate you. Uh, so, Bubba Shaka to you doing what you're doing. And also, Shalom, citations, mercy, and blessings to you sincere brothers that's out there pushing this word with truth and with faith. All right. Until next time, brethren, I say Shalom.